Hello friends, as you know CUSAT is in news and hopefully by the next year all major central universities will be under CUSAT. So it's a good time to look. A typical CUSAT paper contains two parts. Part A which contains 25 questions pertaining to English language, general awareness, mathematical aptitude and analytical skills. While section B which contains the 75 questions depending on your domain. Here we are going to discuss the MSc Life Science CUSAT paper 2021. So let's begin. Select the correct option in the given statement. You may feel relieved when something bad happens, does not happen, is remembered or occurs. As we know, feeling relieved means feeling good or relaxed as something difficult problem has passed through. So you start feeling relaxed when you are not worried about something bad. So here the option B would be more appropriate that you may feel relieved when something bad does not happen. Select the most suitable synonyms of barbarian. It's impolite or unkind or uncivilized or unlikeliness. Synonyms of barbarian is savage, uncivilized, rough, hooligan or rude. So option C is more close to the barbarian term. Which is the closest meaning of the phrase to be hard of hearing? Deaf, deaf and dumb, careless or arrogant. Hard of hearing refers in part to a person who is having compromised hearing ability or deafness. For example, we often say that we have to be a bit louder as our grandparents is a little bit hard of hearing. So here the option A would be the correct answer. Identify the meaning of the idiom from the option given in black and white. Is it useless? Is it in short or in writing or in full swing? In black and white means in writing or print which is more reliable than mere verbal commitments. For example, we often say I won't believe verbal commitment until I see it in black and white. So option C is the correct answer. Select the most suitable antonym of the rapture. Is it despair, elation, ecstasy or hell? Rapture basically represents the pleasurable emotions. The synonyms of rapture would be ecstasy, elation, euphoria, paradise, while depression or despair are the common antonym of rapture. So here the option A would be the correct answer. Complete the second sentence by selecting the appropriate options. One way to improve your health is to eat more fruit and vegetables alternatively. So it is very simple. As we know, following healthy diet and regular exercise, they are the key of prolonged life. So option C would be the correct answer that one way to improve your health is to eat more fruits and vegetables. Alternatively, you could exercise more. Fill in the blanks with the right word. An employee might be given a privilege as a form of punishment, increment, reward or commendations. Privilege, they are often given as a reward to promote or encourage an individual at the workplace. Unlike increment, privilege are the temporary and sometimes non-monetary as well. So option B would be the correct answer. Select the correct option for the use of the word the the Delhi, the city of Delhi, the southern India or the long island. The word is often used in front of unique, definite or specific nouns. So option C and D cannot be the answers. Why? Because they are not the specific or definite nouns. Now option A and B could be the answers. But if you see in option A, Delhi is a proper noun. And generally, we do not add the word the in front of a proper noun. So, option B would be the correct answer. Fill in the blank with the correct propositions. I am worried dash exam on, in, about or off. A preposition is a word which comes before a noun or a pronoun and establish a relationship between elements of a clause or a word. Option C would be more close to correct because it is connecting 
the two words worried and exam so the correct statement would be i am worried about the exams identify the meaning of the idiom from the option given hit the road end the journey an accident begin the journey or happy times generally the idiom hit the road mean to leave a place to start a journey just like as we say we got so late we have to hit the road so that we can reach on time so option c would be the correct answer what will come in place of the question mark which is given in the expression so here a equation is being given and we have to find out the correct answer so if you solve this question then if you apply the board mask then we will find that the question mark the value of question mark would be 2476 which is the option b so option b is the correct answer given below are the two statements one is labeled as assertion a and other is labeled as reason r assertion a is for making statue we are using bronze that is correct statement that we use bronze since time immemorial for making statues medals or any other items the reason which is given is through the mixing of copper and tin we produce bronze definitely bronze is being made by mixing the copper and tin but that can't be reason for making statues we make statues by using bronze because bronze is an alloy and alloys they impart stability to the statues as we know that a statue has to bear a humidity they have to bear the air which is very much potential in doing corrosion so just to save the from the corrosion statues are being made by using bronze so the reason which is being given that cannot be the correct reason for the assertion so option b would be the correct answer that we use bronze because it's a ductile it's a malleable and it also imparts the corrosion free environment so reason would be this not the one which is given as a reason so option b is the correct answer the sum of the five numbers is 260 the average of first two numbers is 30 and the average of last two number is 70 so what is the third number if we solve this as we know the average of first two number is 30 so we can approximate that the sum would be 60 for first two numbers and the average of last two number is 70 so that means we can assume that the last two statement or last two words will be equal to 140 so now the total would be 140 plus 60 that is around 200 so the rest value that means the middle one would be close to 60 so option d would be the correct answer 36 workers can finish a piece of work in 14 days if the work is to be completed in 8 days how many extra workers are required so let's solve this question if we see that the number of persons which are required for completing the work in 8 days is x then we can relate that x by 36 is equal to the 14 by 8 and if we solve it for the x then the value comes of 63 so 63 persons are basically required for doing the work in the 8 days but we were doing it with the 36 person so now extra would be the 27 person which would be required to cover the work in properly in 8 days so option c would be the correct answer what should come in the blank space in the following number series 0 2 dash 18 32 and 50 see to solve these kind of a question we have to find out what is the pattern they are following so if we see the pattern then we will be finding out that the they are following a formula of 2 into n raised to the power 2 where n is the number starting from 0 so if we solve 2 into first 0 square that would be the value will be 0 and if we solve it for the further values like 1 2 3 4 5 then we will find out that the pattern is being followed so the missing word would be the 8 which is a coming in the third case so option d would be the correct answer three of the following four are alike in certain way based on the english alphabetical series and so form a group which is the one that does not belong to that group wxst xcde 
QRMN or IJEN. See, to solve these kind of a questions, we have to find out what pattern they are following. Like in the case of A, it is ST, UV is missing, WX. In the option C, MN, OP is missing, QR. In the option D, EF, GH is missing, IJ. All three A, option A, option C and option D, they are following a pattern which is missing in the case of option B. So option B is the correct answer. If every alternate Saturday and all Sundays are holidays in a 30 days month beginning on Saturday, then how many working days are there in that month? Is it 21, 22, 23 or 24? If you see it in the figure, then there would be 5 Sundays would be there that is on 2nd, 9th, 16th, 23rd and 30th. While there would be 2 Saturday which will be observed as a holiday that is on 8th that is 2nd Saturday and 22nd. Rest 23 days would be the working day. So option C is the correct answer. Pointing to a woman, Neetu said her son's father is the son-in-law of my mother. How is Neetu related to the woman? Is she his mother, sister, aunt or mother-in-law? So Neetu is pointing out to a person or to a lady and she is saying her son's father is her husband. So obviously she is talking about a lady whose husband is the son-in-law of a lady which is the mother of the Neetu. So in any way it will be only possible if the lady which she is pointing is her sister. So option B would be the correct answer. Sunita travelled 5 kilometers towards east direction. She turned right and went for 3 kilometers. Then she turned west and traveled for 1 kilometer. How far she is from the starting point? So if we see the diagram, then we will find out that she started from point A and went up to B, that is 5 kilometer. Then she moved from B to C, that is for 3 kilometer and from C to D, that is for 1 kilometer. Now we have to find out how far she is from point A. That means in a way we have to find out the distance from A to D. If we see with a point E, which is an imaginary point, then we can find out that B, C, D, E forms a rectangle. And now the remaining distance that is A, E would be of 4 km, while D, E would be of 3 km. So in a triangle A, E, D, if we solve it, then we will find out that the distance of A, D would be 5 km, which is the option B. So option B is the correct answer. In a certain code, temporal written as a word. Now, in the same way, by following the same pattern, what would be the code for consider? So, we have to find out in again, in this case, we have to find out the relation. So, let us relate temporal with the word OLDS MBSP. So, if you relate these words, then we will find out that T is related to the fourth alphabet, while E is related to the D. M is related to L, P is related to O and O is related to P, R is related to S, A is related to B and L is related to M. So they are the adjacent alphabets. So if we follow the same analogy for consider, then we will find out that the answer would be the option A that is R, M, N, B, S, F, E, J. Whose creation are Harsh Charitra and Kadambari? Is it Kalana, Panini, Banabhatta or Patanjali? Basically, Banabhatta was a Sanskrit poet of Emperor Harshvardhan time and he was the one who wrote Harsh Charitra and Kadambari. So, option C would be the correct answer. Present day Istanbul in Turkey was earlier known as Was it Ankara, Ottoman, Constantinople or Byzantine? Basically, if you see the map, the Istanbul, which was also known as earlier Constantinople, it was an important trade route which was connecting the Europe, Russia and Asia. And this connecting link was very much entertained in the past. So, present day Istanbul is also known as earlier Constantinople. So, option C is the correct answer. SpaceX is 
an Indian auto giant, a movie or in space, name of a spy agency or an American private space company. SpaceX, which is also known as Space Exploration Technology Corporation, was an American aerospace venture which was founded in 2002 and hence the option D would be the correct answer. UN Day is celebrated on 26th November, 24th November, 26th of October or 24th of October. 24th of October is celebrated as UN Day since 1948 and year 2020 Mark the 75th anniversary of the UN and its founding charter. So, option D would be the correct answer. The famous novel Middle Marsh was written by George Eliot, William Wordsworth, William Shakespeare, or Ruskin Vaughan. Middle Marsh, a study of provincial life, is a novel which was written by an English poet, George Eliot, which was published in 1871 to 1872. So, option A would be the correct answer. With this, we close down our this video. Please do like, comment and subscribe our channel so that we will be more motivated to present you of such kind of a videos. If you have any specific need, please do let us know and mail us at vigyangar at the rate of gmail.com. Thank you very much.